Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with a very amazing problem of optics. So here is the statement of this problem. The refractive index of, uh, of a transparent glass slab of width 2a. So this width is 2a varies in the direction of z-axis which is perpendicular to the plane of the slab as shown. The refractive index at mod z that means at z equal to plus a and minus a it is n naught while at z equal to 0 on this line it is n1 as this laser beam is uh, is entering in the slab at z equal to a and travels along x axis it has been observed that the laser follows a path of cos cosine function as shown in the figure find number one the refractive index as a function of z and number two is wavelength of the path of laser in the medium so it is given this is the cross section of the slab and uh, light ray or laser beam is entering along this line here at z equal to a and then it takes a path like this which is a cosine function it is given. So we have to find out a refractive index of such slab as a function of z and also we have to find out the wavelength of this pa uh, path of laser that means distance between these two peaks that is going to be the wavelength. So let's discuss the concept part of this problem. So it's uh, it's uh, similar to those slab problems where multiple slabs are placed. So as you can see in the diagram here, a slab of uh, medium mu naught, mu one, mu two, mu three, and corresponding angles are theta naught, theta one, theta two, theta three. So as you can see here, for first interface, mu naught sine theta naught is equal to mu one sine theta one. Similarly, here at second interface mu1 sin theta1 is equal to mu2 sin theta2 using uh, Snell's law. So directly we can say all these values are equal uh, for n number of mediums or in general I can say this mu sin theta is constant where theta is angle made by this light ray with the normal at every interface. So mu sin theta is going to be constant. Now let's try to apply this logic uh, here also. So you can see here in this case uh, as mu is changing with z coordinate this is how these slabs are placed. This is how these slabs are placed and the corresponding normals are here. I have shown this in uh, red color I hope you can see the, these are the normals at uh, individual points. I hope it is visible now. So now we can see as this light ray will enter here we need uh, in order to use this logic mu sin theta equal to constant where theta is angle made by the normal. So I am considering this angle as uh, phi here. This is the angle made by the tangent with the x axis. So with the normal everywhere it is going to make angle of 90 minus theta. So our uh, equation mu sin theta equal to constant is going to be mu z cos phi equal to constant. Mu z is the refractive index as a function of z. So mu z cos phi is constant. Similarly here I can say this is going to be the tangent here actually. Slope of tangent. So tan phi is going to be dz by dx. If it was y dy by v, uh, dx we would have written but it is zx graph and this graph is actually zx graph. So tan phi will become dz by dx. Now let's uh, proceed further. So from here, since it is cosine function and x equal to zero value is uh, maximum. So here I can uh, definitely take that this z is a cos kx where a is the maximum value of z which is plus a in this case. So that's uh, fine and cos kx. So x equal to zero value is maximum. So it is satisfying that plus phi naught uh, we should not consider in this case. It's a very obvious. So if somehow I can find this k I will know the exact equation of this path and uh, I can easily say that uh, this lambda I can write as uh, 2 pi by k. From waves we have this kind of uh, idea or directly also you can say this kx is corresponding to 2 pi. So that is going to be lambda here in this case. Now I can find out the value of dz by dx so that is going to be minus ak sin kx which is also tan phi. So tan phi value I can uh, substitute now. Uh, I can uh, adjust this in terms of z coordinate. So that is minus a k root of sin k x I can write as uh, root of 1 minus cos square k x. So now I am substituting the value of this. So I am getting tan phi, tan phi as a function of z which comes as minus k root of a square minus z square. 
Now at z equal to a, we have refractive index value as n naught and this phi is zero because uh, slope of tangent is zero at that uh, point. All right. So tan phi is zero in that case. So I can write here uh, general equation. I can write uh, that n naught cos phi here. I hope it is clear to you. This is my law, Snell's law, n z cos phi. So at z equal to zero, now that is n naught cos phi, that is going to be zero. Cos phi will become one. So n naught cos zero which is n0 and that should be equal to nz cos phi. So I can substitute here this tan phi value. When I substitute here and simplify, I am directly getting this nz is equal to n0 root of 1 plus k square a square minus z square. So please remember this k is unknown to us. Still we don't know. Otherwise this would have been my answer. But I have another uh, uh, boundary condition that is at z equal to 0 refractive index nz is n1 let's use that logic also so when i do that i am getting the value of k which is coming as uh, root of uh, n1 square minus n2 square by uh, sorry n1 square minus n naught square divided by n naught a so from here wavelength actually is known to be this is equal to 2 pi by lambda now once k is known to me, this k value I can substitute in this equation, nz also is going to be known to me when I substitute it here and uh, simplify, uh, it's up to you, you can leave your answer here itself, I am slightly simplifying it, when I simplify nz I am getting as 1 by a times n1 square a square plus n naught square minus n1 square times uh, uh, z square whole root uh, will come for this so this is my nz or you can say well, this itself is fine after this this k is 2 pi by lambda so lambda value i can directly calculate from here you can say this value is actually 2 pi by lambda so lambda value will become 2 pi n naught a divided by root of n1 square minus n naught square this is going to be my answer for wavelength of such wave so these are the final answers i hope you have enjoyed this problem it is very nice problem slightly different from the regular problems uh, given in the books so if you have enjoyed it please uh, share it with others leave a like and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thanks for watching it